The 3D preview instantly creates a 3D model of your building. It's worth noting that only the following drafted architectural elements will be shown in 3D. Walls, doors, windows, roofs and staircases. Anything else you draw will not be included. The 3D model is calculated from the information stored in the plan. Elevations, even though we show them here, are not required in order for the 3D preview to work. OK, to view a 3D preview of the drawing, we simply switch on the toggle in the 3D section of the architectural ribbon, which you can see here. If you have a single storey building, that's fine. However, we have two storey buildings in our example, so first we need to define the levels. Levels simply tell Draftit how to stack the floors together. In the box you can see our base height, wall height and default level number. Basically, the current settings are saying our level is at zero ground level and is 2700 high. So we click OK. Now we select the reference point. This is used to line up the different floors. So we need to pick a coincident point on each floor, say the bottom left corner, like this. Now simply click two corners of a rectangle enclosing the elevation. You can resize this rectangle using its entity handles if required. And double click on it to change the level number and heights. We will repeat this process for the first floor. This time click on the plus button. This automatically increments the floor number and base height. Now we click OK and define the reference point and enclosing rectangle. That's it, the levels are defined, so we can click on the 3D preview toggle. The 3D preview window opens to display our model. Click in the window and we can rotate the middle by holding down the left mouse button and moving it around. You can see that the model spins around its centre point so it's easy to orientate it to any position. You can click the middle wheel button to turn the faces on or off. As in the main draft it window, the wheel can also be used to zoom in and out. There are buttons at the top of the 3D preview window. The ones highlighted at the top also perform zooming and panning functions. There is also a save image button so you can save a picture of the model in the current orientation. Finally, a refresh button which can be used to update the model in certain circumstances. However, the model will, in the majority of cases, automatically update if the plan is changed. Let's make a change on the plan to demonstrate this. We will remove the upper right hand window. Remember the elevation has no effect on the 3D preview, so we can make the change in the plan. As soon as the window is deleted, the 3D preview updates. It's worth noting also that the elevation doesn't change. If you want to update this, simply delete the lines that make up the first floor and create it using the elevation command.